Now let's talk about time, or more specifically, the measurement of elapsed time. And today we're going to be looking at the milliseconds Less. function with Arduino, and that gives you the amount of milliseconds that have passed since the Arduino was turned on, or since the sketch started running. It will last about 50 days, and at about 50 days, it will reset back down to zero. Now, the downside with using the millis function for keeping track of time is it's not very accurate. So if you need to keep track of time, say, over the course of a month, like you're building a clock and you want it within a second or two accuracy, you'll need a separate piece of electronics called a real-time clock module, and we'll take a look at them later on. But in this video, we're going to talk about millis, something that is fairly accurate over a short period of time, and it uses the internal or built-in clock of your microcontroller. It's fairly easy to implement. Let's take a look at the code. So I have my Arduino all fired up here and I've got a blank sketch. And the first thing I'll need to do is in the setup, let's do a serial begin and we'll do 9600, It's kind of a standard serial. Oh, that doesn't look right. There we go, serial begin. And then within the loop, get rid of these comments too. That's all you need in the setup. So now down into the loop, I can put in serial print and let's just give it kind of a human interface so we know what we're looking at here. So we'll just say time equals, leave a space and quote, and then we'll do another serial print ln. And the reason I'm using print and print ln is the first one print will print time equals with a space. And then in the serial monitor, it's going to print the next set of characters or data right after that time. But with the print ln, it actually give it a carriage return afterwards. So I'll print time, the data I want, and then a new, new line time and data. And then here I will do millis, milliseconds. And then you need two parentheses and a following closed parentheses. And then the last thing I wanna add is a delay. And I'm gonna delay it one second or 1000 milliseconds. Let's take a look at the board. Uno, perfect. And the port looks good. I will upload this to my Arduino and I'll open up my serial monitor. Now, you'll notice something really interesting. My serial monitor is running here and you'll see that theoretically every second it should be printing a new line time equals and you'll see that just like i thought what was going to happen is that here after three seconds or three thousand milliseconds it goes and prints four seconds then five six but then look at seven it's seven zero zero one eight zero zero one nine and that's going to ever increase you have any idea why And the reason is millis returns the time that has passed, but there's also a little bit of time that accrues that will build up that's actually executing your code. So you can see over the course of now, let's see, 55 seconds this has been running, I'm off by 15 milliseconds. Now in all actuality, 15 milliseconds might be close enough, right? If you're trying to time something, even a timer for say your kitchen and you're cooking something, whether you're off, a hundredth or a thousandth of a second after a couple of minutes, does it really matter? Probably not. But if you have critical timing needs, milliseconds and using the internal clock on Arduino probably isn't your best bet. You'll wanna use an external form of a clock that can send you much more accurate data. And that's about all there is when it comes to measuring elapsed time fairly accurately with your Arduino.